Hola, hoy estamos aquí en el Palacio de los Deportes José María Martín Calpena para conocer a Kyle Ford, uno de los jugadores de la Unicaja Málaga que nos va a contar cómo fue su experiencia durante cuatro años en una universidad en Estados Unidos. athlete for Arizona University. He actually graduated over there and played four years of basketball for the Wildcats. He will tell us today a little bit of his experience and I hope you like it. Carl, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks, Carl. Uh, it's a pleasure to, to have you here. And uh, could you explain us a little bit, uh, how was your experience during those four years in Arizona? It was uh, some of the best four years of my life. Uh, just uh, being on college campus, you know, being away from home and meeting some of, you know, lifelong friends who I'm still, you know, friends with today. Uh, it was just uh, definitely one of the most memorable years of my life. Great. Um, okay, as a student athlete, we know that it's very difficult to keep up with classes and, and practices and games and traveling. How did you do with, the, with that? And how the school help you guys, all those athletes, to perform well in, in classes as well as in basketball? Yeah, it's, it's really difficult to kind of keep everything in check, but luckily we have a, very organized you know, staff on our, on our coaching staff as well as like a whole center where you can get help for your studies so they schedule everything you know make sure you get your classes you know at the right times you need so you can make practice and then you have like buildings dedicated to the study hall where you can go in and get free tutoring because you're an athlete and like you get priority for your classes so it's tough, but they make it easy for you by keeping everything organized and, and helping you out a lot. Mm -hmm, great. Okay, uh, we know that the fans in college is uh, it's a great environment. They are very passionate. I want to show you something. Hope you like it. Um, and tell me, explain a little bit. Does he have another miracle in him for his senior year? Lies, the fog, fog, the pressure oh. on the outside. Kyle passing it up off the screen. Fog is partially blocked. It's a foul! With 0.2 seconds remain, the game is going to be on the shoulders of Kyle Fogg. Vucevic fouled out if we do go overtime. Mm. I told you these are going to take a long time. Mm -hmm. Every bit of the rim on that one. How would you explain the, that atmosphere? There, every game is like a playoff game, especially just being in, in the city we're in. There's no other uh, professional team, so it's like we're kind of like the pro team. Like guys are on billboards and bus stops, and the fans are just unbelievable. Like every single game, 14 and a half thousand sold out. So it's like the atmosphere was unbelievable. It's even I think better than a lot of professional you know, NBA arenas as far as you know environment. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Uh, in the U.S., college life is remarkable for the students, and it actually builds a connection connection between the school and the students. Um, uh, so actually, they, they stay for the rest of their life for the students and make them proud proud of the school. Uh, could you explain a little bit that kind of feeling? Yeah, um, I mean with Arizona, I can only speak on that, but I think a lot of schools are like that as well. Is mm -hmm. you you fall in love with the school and like the, the environment and all the people who you know want you to be successful, and you have people who graduated from your college who come back and they want to help you, you know, help you find jobs or help you any way they can, and it's it's kind of like a, a brother a brotherhood. And mm -hmm. So like as far as me, I'm always want to represent you know Arizona in a positive way, and I want to go out here and play well for our fans, but also mm -hmm. to represent, you know, my college. And it's it's always going to be, you know, like I said, it's the, some of the memorable four years of my life. So it's always going to be have a huge place in my heart. So mm -hmm. I always want to, you know, represent them well. And people are still reaching out to me today to help me just from older, you know, alumni who graduated from Arizona and they follow my career. So it's, it's, it's like a family, you know, when you go mm -hmm. to college, it's, it's a big family. You can always reach out to people who graduated from the same school as you. Mm -hmm. 
some people here in Europe believe that young basketball players who are going to college in the US, they are wasting years of their career. What do you think about that? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, everyone has uh, different aspirations for you know basketball. I know mm -hmm. if some young players want to make it to the you know, NBA, I think being over there is, is very important. Just more exposure, you're closer to it, and uh, you're going to have a blast there, and you're going to have mm -hmm. amazing facilities, and you're going to get better. So I think it's it's great for you know young players to try to aspire to go to college because you know the pros over here. It'll it'll be here when you come back if you leave. You know you always have the opportunity to come back and you'll be stronger and, and better because of it. And um, you know, I kind of compare it to me coming over here, mm -hmm. coming to Europe, and it's, you know, Spain in particular has been an amazing experience for me. I'm getting to learn new cultures and meet different types of people, and I'm, I'm just loving being able to expand my horizon. So I think it's kind of the same for people from Spain and everywhere in Europe to mm -hmm. go to America to be able to just see new things and experience, you know, a different culture. I think uh, you're just, you, you're more, grateful of everything and you appreciate things more when you're able to see some life. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, just to wrap up, uh, what would you say to those kids considering going to college in the U.S.? Uh, I recommend it highly if you get the chance to, you know, I know it's hard, but I, I love what you guys are doing as far as trying to make it easy on kids to get over there. And I think you should definitely, you know, spend the, take the chance to go get to see America and, and go to college and have that you know, type of fun. Uh, I think I'd recommend it to anybody who gets the chance. Great. Thank you, Kyle, and good luck in the playoffs.